Can you refuse a breath test in Queensland? And what are the consequences if you do refuse a breath test, but you're not allowed to? Hey everyone, my name is Dave. I'm a criminal lawyer and I've helped thousands of people successfully navigate Queensland's criminal justice system. In Queensland, the law says the police do have the power to breath test drivers and they can do this randomly or because of some sort of incident that's brought to the attention of the police. But more specifically, the law says that the police can require someone to do the breath test if they have a reasonable suspicion that the person was driving a vehicle or attempting to drive the vehicle or in charge of the vehicle and that this occurred within the last three hours. So what does this actually mean? Well, first, it means you don't need to have been driving your car for the police to require you to do a breath test. If you were attempting to drive your car, or even if you were just in charge of your car, so maybe you're just sitting in the driver's seat but not driving anywhere, then that's enough for the police to require you to do the breath test. An example of this I see quite a lot is when someone's involved in, for example, a minor accident, there's no need to call the police, so the person heads home, and then maybe an hour later, there's a knock on the door, it's the police. If they have the reasonable suspicion that that person was driving because of that accident, then that's enough for them to require that person to provide the breath test. Another thing to be aware of is the police don't actually need to suspect that you were drink driving at the time. I see this a lot when someone is pulled over by the police and they might not have had any drinks at all. So no, no alcohol, they're just driving along on a normal day. But because they haven't been drinking, they think they don't need to provide the sample of breath for the breath test, so they refuse. The fact that they hadn't had any alcohol is not a defense and it's not a, an excuse to avoid participating in that breath test. And the unfortunate thing is if they had participated in that breath test and they had complied with the request and they were under the limit, then they'd be free to leave with no other consequences. So the third thing to understand is that there is this three hour time limit or time period that applies. And going back to that example earlier of the accident, let's say you're involved in a car accident, it's minor, you go home, but you're a bit shook up. So you have a couple of glasses of wine or a few beers just to calm your nerves. And then imagine two hours later, you get a knock on the door. It's the police. They say that they have reasonable suspicion that you are driving and they now require you to provide a sample of breath for the breath test. Because it's within the last three hours, they have that ability, they are lawfully entitled to require you to do the breath test. The issue for you though is you might not have been drink driving at the time of this minor accident. You got home, you had a few drinks, and then the police come and knock on your door. It then becomes your responsibility to convince either the police or the courts that you were not drink driving at the time. So if you've been involved in any sort of accident, the last thing you want to do is to then have any alcohol whatsoever afterwards, because the police will then assume that you might have had that alcohol before driving, and then again, it's up to you to convince them otherwise. So what are the consequences of refusing to do a breath test when required by the police? Well, they can be pretty serious. You see, the law says if someone refuses a breath test, then it's treated the same as that person being charged with a high range drink driving offense. So the punishments are the same and you're treated the same by the courts. This means you're looking at a license disqualification of at least six months, significant fines, and depending on your previous history and the seriousness of this particular offense, then the consequences could be more serious than that. So if you think that refusing a breath test is going to help you to avoid a drink driving charge or it's gonna work out better for you, it's probably actually gonna end up worse because there is this law that says the failure to provide a breath test is treated the same as a high range drink driving offense. So if you are required to provide a breath test by the police, the best thing you can do is just to comply with their request. Later on, you can get legal advice, speak to a lawyer if you think that they might not have followed the correct procedures or maybe they weren't lawfully entitled to require you to provide that breath test. But the important thing is cooperate with them and then afterwards, if necessary, get legal advice. If this has been helpful and you wanna stay up to date with Queensland's traffic and criminal laws so you don't find yourself getting into trouble, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Until next time, thanks for watching.